say hello to the Paris Roan Laser Projector for $18.99. Stop the FOMO! Do you ever fear missing out on an affordable laser TV? I'm talking about a 4K laser projector putting out up to 150 inches of TV watching goodness. Paris Roan is a brand from Europe, Paris, France. They've been making home electronics since 1925. And almost 100 years later, they have expanded globally and are now bringing this compact laser projector to the USA. This 4K laser projector by Paris Roan was developed in France, then produced in China to keep it under $1,900. Today, we're going to explain who is this laser projector for? What's its use case? What's the difference between a laser projector and a laser TV? And most importantly, does it look good? Now, before we jump into the specs, image quality comparisons, and demos, this video was sponsored by Paris Roan and its 4K laser projector. Now, on with the show. To start, let's clarify a few things. First, what's a laser TV? How is that different than a laser projector? So, what is a laser TV, right? A laser TV must have four things. First, a laser projector. Second, a screen. Third, the screen and the projector must be placed close together. We're talking inches. We're talking ultra close or ultra short throw. And lastly, the ability to watch content. You can watch movies on Netflix, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, whatever. And so taken together, give a laser TV. And so today, I guess we will be reviewing a laser TV. We have the Paris Roan 4K laser projector, and we have a screen. Thank you, Elite Screens. And they are placed ultra close together, ultra short throw. And of course, we'll be reviewing content. Suddenly, we have a laser TV to review. Now let's talk about the specs of this compact Paris Roan 4K laser projector. First, it's compact. As you can see, it's about 15 pounds and it's relatively affordable. Among all the 4K single laser projectors out there, this one at $18.99, easily one of the least expensive for what you get. Now, what do you get? You got 2000 lumens with this projector. Plus you have all the basics in terms of IO ports, as you can see here. Well, let's do a quick close up so you can see what IO ports you get with this projector. You have two HDMI ports and HDMI port number two is your ARC audio return channel. You have audio out, you have auxiliary in, you of course have the ethernet hardware connection as well as Wi-Fi and a USB connection as well. Now the setup and placement of the screen and projector is pretty straightforward. The manual will tell you exactly how far to place the projector and how far below the screen to place the projector to make sure you get the size you want. Now, as far as the screen, I strongly suggest you get a screen designed for ultra short throw projectors, specifically an ALR type screen, ambient light rejecting screen. If you do have a little bit of light, getting an ALR screen is very important because it rejects some of the ambient light so that the screen remains bright and clear and the contrast is still there. The screen that I have was kindly provided by Elite Screens. It's their Starling Tab Tensioned top-down motorized CLR screen at a 100 inch size. Phenomenal. Works great. Screen is nice and straight. Most importantly, it's motorized and this is why it's so important. Once you place your projector at the height you want, motorizing it to motorizing it, you can adjust it with a remote so that the height matches the distance you need to get that 100, 120, 150 inch size that you want. So I strongly suggest either motorized top down or bottom up. And most importantly, this is a laser TV, eye protection, emphasis on laser. Now the Paris Roan 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser TV does have a motion detector that will sense when you're close or too close to the lasers and it would automatically adjust the image to take that brightness down, but still do not stare into the laser. Turn off the TV, then move around it as you need to, and then turn it back on. Safety first. Now, before we get into image quality, let's talk about audio quality. Specifically, the Paris Roan 4K laser projector comes with its own stereo pair of speakers and it gets loud, but not just loud, it's pretty well balanced. So check out this comparison between the Paris Roan laser projector against the 65 inch Sony A95K with its acoustic glass audio system.
it definitely goes deeper and a little bit louder than the A95K, but still, if you're in a big room, I suggest a soundbar with a subwoofer, as I always do. Finally, what you all been waiting for, how's the image quality? We're gonna have image quality comparisons, but before we get into the TV, I will be comparing it to so you can see for yourself. First, the source. I will be using the UB820, the Panasonic UB820 disc player to play the Spears and Muscle source disc, as well as my trusty Roku 4K streaming stick. Now, although the Paris Roan laser projector offers internal apps like Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, and so forth, I prefer to use an external streaming stick like this Roku because no internal app I have found on any TV, it doesn't matter if it's the Sony A95K, it doesn't matter if it's the Samsung QN90B, the internal apps normally, from my experience, are inferior to a simple streaming stick via HDMI port or your Blu-ray disc player or Kaleidoscape. The HDMI port will give you the highest quality possible. And so this is what I'm gonna use to compare streaming images and streaming content image quality. Let's start by comparing how the Paris Roan laser projector does SDR versus tone mapping HDR. In this scene on The Witcher, it's currently in HDR. But if we go to the settings, what happens when we disable HDR and switch to SDR? Boom. As you can see, shadow detail is raised. You see more gradient detail. Now, is this creator's intent? Who knows, but at least you have that option. On to the Spears and Munsell comparison. What you'll notice is bright colors, full screen, it looks great. Yes, the OLED is more saturated, but the large screen, it looks very close. The blacks is where it's slightly lifted. Whether it's black moose, black rocks, shadow detail, everything's a touch lifted. However, in sports, does it matter? Look at the jacket. Yeah, slightly lifted, but you're getting a larger screen. And this is why people get a projector screen 100 inches. It just feels more immersive. What are my impressions of this Paris Roan 4K laser projector in terms of image quality and use case? First and most importantly, you have to keep this in mind. At best, dimly lit room. Do not put this projector or any laser projector in a moderately lit to bright room. I just think the contrast of any projector in a bright room, not going to happen. However, in a dimly lit room, it's perfect and that's the context that I reviewed this. Now let's talk about the different content and stuff. So first, movies. This projector is airing on the side of a touch of soap opera effect. If you dislike soap opera, that's something you have to keep in mind, but it is stutter free. Now I hate stutter, so for me, this projector is fine. I think this is the perfect sports watching laser TV. I mean, imagine, right? You have the FIFA World Cup, you have the Super Bowl coming up, you have all these bowl games. 100, 120, 150 inches of that awesome field on your wall. And I was impressed by its tone mapping ability. Up to 2,000 nits, it tone mapped it fine. Very few TVs can tone map 4,000 nits and above correctly, but then again, there is no content that's graded above 4,000 nits, so maybe that's a moot point. So who is this TV for? Well, first, light-controlled room so that you can take the lights down to dim. It doesn't have to be pitch dark, just not bright. Sports, oh, if you love watching sports, it's perfect. This is my new standard for affordable laser TV. It's $18.99. Are you ready for a 15 pound laser TV that can reach up to 150 inches? Or are you waiting for a 150 pound, 100 inch TV? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stop the FOMO.